Hey Ashton, this is Steven from CMP Auto here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2020 GMC Sierra 3500 HD Denali with the Duramax diesel. So first things first, thank you for your interest in this unit. This is a very nice looking truck. It's in fantastic shape considering the mileage. This thing has just over or just about 171,000 kilometers on it, but it's fully certified. And uh, all things considered, it's in great shape. Now what I'll do in this video, I'll give you a little walk around tour. We'll go over some key features and I'll do my best to point out any flaws to give you a better idea of what it looks like beyond the photos on our website. So this truck is of course a Duramax diesel. So you get the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 under the hood, matted to a 10 speed auto, right? Allison transmission, and you get a four x four, of course. Um, it is a crew cab with a six and a half foot box and we'll get started on features. So up front, you have full LED lighting that includes daytime running lamps, stacked LED headlamps, turn signals, and LED fog lamps down below. On this front bumper, you have parking sensors, makes it a lot easier to park. And something else that uh, adds to that is a 360 camera. So right there is your front camera. On each side mirror, you have additional cameras, and then of course the backup camera, so 360. You have recovery hooks down the front bumper. On the driver's side, Right here is your plug-in for your block heater. Very convenient. It's a lot more convenient than a lot of makes. They put them uh, deep into the engine bay, gets your clothes all dirty. This is nice and convenient right there. Now in terms of condition, this vehicle does have 3M. So paint protective film on the hood up to here, the front fender up to here, and the front bumper as well. That being said, again, not perfect. It's got a few scuffs, okay? A few rock chips here and there. Most of them are gonna be protected. However, ones like this that hit a little deep here and here, these are things that could be touched up if you wish. Now you also got, you have the marker lights up, up top. Nice hood scoop up here. Around the sides, you get the plastic fender flares with the reflector lights. And of course, in those wheel wells are 20 inch alloy wheels wrapped in all terrain rubber. You also get front and rear mud flaps. You get side steps down below. You get trailer tow mirrors with integrated LED turn signals. Puddle lights, you get a convex mirror. You get an auto dimming and heated um, regular mirror with integrated blind spot monitoring. These also fold in and they extend out. And then down below you have your side camera. As I may have mentioned already, this is a crew cab with the six and a half foot box. We'll go into the interior in a moment. Well, let's take a look at the box. So number one, something I love about GM trucks, you have integrated steps. If not here, well, this one does. You also have them on the rear bumper makes it a lot easier to get in. Something else that's nice, this has the multi-pro tailgate. So you have your normal tailgate that opens like this. Of course, it doesn't just flop down, it's dampened, okay? Or you can open it like this. This pops out and now makes it very easy to climb in. Something else that aids that, you have a built-in handle right here that you can grab onto. Also, if you're not using this step, the steps on each corner of the bumper, nice little detail. You step up here, what are you gonna grab onto? Probably here. Well, nice little detail, they rounded it out so it doesn't pinch your hand. It's the little things. Let's close this up. But before I do, uh, this does have the fifth wheel prep pack already in there. LED lighting, power port right there. And on this side, your electrical, your harnesses as well up top you have another camera and i'll show you what that does in a moment you also have rear defrost on the back window and power side window as well backup camera down below class 5 hitch receiver and your harnesses right there spare tire down below parking sensors as well and this these lighting or these lights rather are going to be all led 
Uh, in terms of condition, did notice a couple things. A little small dent here, some damage right there, and little scratches that I'm sure can be touched up. Dent here. Overall, it's in great shape. Let's take a look at the interior. So, of course, being at Denali, you get perforated leather seating. Very soft. On each side, in the rear seats, you get a hidden compartment there and there. Center armrest with cup holders. Above your head, you're gonna have LED lighting. And down below, you're gonna have all weather mats. These seats, by the way, are heated. You have controls right here, three levels. You have a USB-C, a USB-A, a 12 volt DC plug, and of course, rear AC vents. Now, when you fold these up, it is a 60-40 split bench. Um, you can have some extra storage below. Now, up front, Let's take a look at these mirrors. So, number one, they're power folding. They're, of course, adjustable as well. And then they're also power extending. Being a Denali, in addition to your wood trim, you also get, or leather trim, you also get wood trim and aluminum. You get Bose audio, you get memory seats. These seats are power operated, they're heated, they're cooled. Again, you get all weather mats, fronts, and driver fronts and pasture fronts. Hopping behind the wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel. It is heated. Uh, it's also got a few other things. You have adaptive cruise control with your gap adjust right there. You have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you have a button here that can control your uh, Apple Siri or your Google Assistant. Mileage at the time of this video is 170.965. Um, no check engine light, everything is good. You have traffic sign recognition, a bunch of different uh, auxiliary gauges right there. To the left of the gauge cluster, you have, of course, your four wheel drive controller, two high, four low, four high, and auto. Auto is great, kind of a set and forget it all wheel drive system. Nice to have. And then as far as driving modes, you have normal and you have off road, and you also have tow and haul mode which just popped up. Below that, you have a bed light, fog lamps, automatic lights, puddle lamps, and electronic parking brake. And straight ahead, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, we do have a heads-up display as well. Now, to the right of that, you have your infotainment um, system, which is touchscreen. It has, again, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's got built-in nav. It has built-in Wi-Fi, Hotspot, it uh, has Sirius XM radio, uh, Amazon Alexa, your 360 camera with different views, curb view, yeah. Uh, below that, you have your dual zone climate control, your heated seat and ventilated seat controls. You also get an exhaust brake, lane keep assist, your uh, parking um, sensors, which are defeatable. You have a power tailgate. And then you have a button here to turn on your plugs. You have hill descent control as well. This helps you maintain control if you're going down a slippery slope. And then you have plenty of power ports. Three prong household plug, 12 volt DC plug, USB-A, USB-C, and then you have an integrated trailer brake controller. Below that, you have a wireless charger for your phone, cup holders, nice little storage bin. Another place for your phone, and then some more USBs and an SD slot right there. Above your head, you have a power sunroof. You have a home link garage door opener. You have your OnStar shortcut buttons right there. And you also have a digital rear view mirror. So that's that camera up top above the rear window. So it's a camera, or sorry, it's a mirror, or it's a camera. 
uh, condition in here. Well, let's take another look. Aside from needing a detail, which you will get, the seats have no rips, no tears. They're in excellent shape. Same with the center armrest, steering wheel. Not perfect, but given the mileage, it's in very good condition. And the passenger seat as well, power operated. This looks like no one sat in it before. Anyway, I think that pretty much sums it up. Please let me know if you have any further questions. But uh, aside from that, thank you for watching. You take care.